Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. Mario is here, as is Louise, as is uh, Shaka. Uh, what was that noise? Uh, if there were to be a tie at the top of the table in the Premier League after the last game of the season, should there be a playoff game to decide the winner? Would anybody be in favour of that? Louise, would you like that? No, no more games, <laughs> please, no more games. <laughs> I'm happy the way it is, and the one who's got more goals can <laughs> give him the trophy, no more games. Uh, would you like a big playoff at Wembley, Mario? No, no, I, I, I agree, you know, we, look, let the league just... If I was playing, I would definitely say no, so now I'll be... It would be funny if I would say yes, no. No more, it's good. What if it was a three-way tie? Protect the players so they can show us the high quality of football. Yeah. If it was three, it'd be like, winner stays on. You have to put an extra goal on. Everybody defends one goal and tries to <laughs> score on the... Oh, wow, that'd be good, Shaq. That, that, would, that would be a good that'd decider. That'd be entertaining, yeah. wouldn't it? Write, write a letter. I, I will. I absolutely will. Two seasons ago, Liverpool were going for the quadruple and played 60-plus matches, Shaq. Okay. Then last season struggled massively with performance and injuries and finished fifth. Last season, United played 60-plus matches and are struggling badly and will finish fifth or sixth. Should Ten Hag be given more time? Um, no. I, I, listen, I, I, I kind of I get the parallel, but if somehow you're making a comparison between United and, and Liverpool, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, you're not going to get okay. much favour. All right, no. So, did you see United-Brentford at the weekend, Mario? Yeah, I saw the game. Oh, and it wasn't cute, man, because no. if you saw the celebration of Mount at the end, it showed you how they know that winning that game would have been something special and then they get the equalizer. Okay, then you know already. No, they should not won that game. They draw the game, I know, but I'm just saying like, they thought they were gonna win it at the last minute. And if you saw everybody's face, you could see that they knew that something special happened if they would have won that one. Who do you hate more? Luis, Manchester United or Real Madrid? <laughs> I don't hate. I just don't like. Ah, to be ah, he's a, what I don't a hate. politician! Hate, hate is a big oh, word. God, hate yeah. is a big word. Hey, he, he's got to go for dinner to, to later, eh, guys. He's got to go for dinner yeah. later. Allow him no, because no, Madrid is not a big uh, place, eh? So allow him. Uh, easy. Luis, no, right answer, man. Man Keep the peace in your city. That's right. Yeah. Now, when we were at the Bernabeu <laughs> together, there were certainly hate being thrown in Luis's direction ah, yes, for the Real Madrid fans. But, but he does a strong word. Oh. But he does a strong One of my favourite bits of the trip. Uh, <laughs> Ancelotti is such an underrated coach, Luis. He's managed to keep Madrid alive this season with injuries to key players, has a rich trophy history. When will people put him on the same pedestal as Pep? I totally agree. I think that uh, because he does, he never wants a, a spotlight on him. He, he never wants attention. He's always keeping that consistency on the way he talks. He addresses the journalists always in a, in a nice temper. I think that is one of the best managers in the history of football because of the trophy, because of the way the teams he has managed, experience that he's got. And it's totally mm. true. This season has been unbelievable. The way that in the beginning of the season, suddenly found himself without coach, without keeper, without centre-backs, uh, with problems into the midfield, with Vinicius some uh, injuries, with Jude Bellingham out. So I think that he's done magic, to be honest, and we have to give credit to what he's done. And the looks yeah. is that he's going to win at least La Liga, and we'll see for some other trophies. So big credit, and yeah, he should be uh, uh, at, the, at the top three, top five of uh, best, yeah. uh, best managers. Mario, who would you respond better to? The kind of Pep Guardiola, always in your face, always talking, or kind of Carlo Ancelotti, around the shoulder we see from his man management? I think Ancelotti, you know, like, uh, don't get me wrong, I think, you know, like, eventually you, you manage both, because I feel like you give, because I had so many coaches in my life, you develop a, a relationship with each individual on your, on your own way. But if I look at uh, what Louis said, you know, 
Ancelotti, if you look back at the history also from actually what he achieved, but also like how he achieved it, you know, like some of the clubs that maybe he let go, you know, the Napoli and, uh, you know, Everton and situation happened or whatever, if it's, but then what he at Madrid is not luck anymore. Eh? He's not driving the situation on luck anymore. This is pure quality and someone is an incredible manager because he's not only good at like managing his team, but also as a human. Look how the players are all in awe with him. And I think as a, as a football coach, you need to be better than only teaching me about football. You also have to be able to teach me about life. Because if you teach me about life, I'm definitely gonna guarantee you that I'm gonna give you the extra mile that I have in me. And I think that's not only for a coach, I think anybody's in charge. You want them to make sure that they can motivate you, then that you can give them the extra that is needed to win games. And I think Ancelotti is very good at it. And Pep is good at it too. This is a very deep extra time. Mario's it? taking it deep. Oh, and, and I tell you Louis what, I'm, start, I'm ready Louis, to swim in it. Louis it's fantastic. Started with, oh, I hate his, uh, it's beyond me to hate. <laughs> <laughs> and now, uh, and now oh, Mario's on, gone all it, deep right? in life. <laughs> what would you want? Stevie <laughs> sitting in front of his <laughs> belly? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I keep you alive, Chuck. I keep you alive. That's more powerful for the cause. I, I like it. I like it. Teach you about life. <laughs> Were you going to say something before I went to Mario? No. Do you remember? Yeah, I, I, I was, but don't worry. Oh, okay, all right then. I'm just focused uh, now. Luis, rate these stadiums based on the best home field advantage. Ooh. The Bernabeu, Anfield, the Metropolitano, the San Siro, and St. James's Park. <sighs> wow. Uh, wow, I will go with the number one, Anfield, number two, San Siro, number three, Metropolitano, number four, San James Park, and number five, Bernabeu. By the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's pretty pretty good. I'm in no position to argue there. Well, why not? Huh? Well, play... you, you've played at St. James's Park, you've played that's at Anfield. Really that's two. All right. I haven't played at the others. Okay. <laughs> You're just giving up on the question. <laughs> right, so Luis is improving, man. <laughs> no, that's very good. Have you been to all those places, Shat? I'm thinking if I've been to all of them. I've never been to St. James's Park. Never been? Never been? No. I'll take no. it down. <laughs> go. What's it? What's the meat? What's the market called? <laughs> uh, uh, the big market. The big market. Big market. I was there with my boy. That's a fun place, isn't that's... it? I, I've a... never been down. Oh, yeah? Wasn't no, it a nice, fun place for a Premier League footballer? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, right. No idea. Dan, uh, Dan, he should have taken you this weekend. This weekend would have been a perfect game for you to be there because wow, I, I'm yeah, sure that stadium was rocking this year. Yeah, this this that, weekend, that... wow, with that goal, yeah. the last goal. <laughs> yeah, when Harvey Barnes did that, wow. Would have been? It would have been. Well, for Shaka, how many minutes into the <laughs> Arsenal City game did you take a nap? You definitely fell asleep. I had, a, I had a little wander. I had to go for a walk. You had to go for a walk? Yeah, I was, I was, I was, it, it was a hard watch. Yeah. It was a hard watch. But why did you need to walk? <laughs> because I was going to fall asleep. Oh, I see. Uh, it was to wake stuff. you up. Yeah, I yeah. To get some fresh air. Yeah. It was a hard watch. Yeah, it was dull. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. yeah. 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 Uh, Mario, <laughs> even you being Mr. Positive, there's not many positives from that game, uh, just as a football fan, was there? No, it was it was only no. a lesson of uh, tactical. But do we want to watch yeah. it? No, I like goals no. too, just like anybody else. And yes. we didn't get to see them. No. Uh, final question: How much Easter candy did you eat yesterday? My rankings for the most candy would be Shaka, number one, Dan, number two, Mario, number three. I didn't have any. Ca oh, okay. That was, that was a bit yeah, you went. You yeah. went too early. You yeah, went too early yeah. then. I, I didn't have much. No. I, I got a lot of candy, but I only had. I had a, some wine gums. You had wine gums? I, yeah, yeah, my wife got me wine gums. Oh, fantastic. I didn't immediately hold back. They're my favourite. I love wine gums. Yeah, yeah, that's my go-to when, pe when no, people no. come over. No, Listen to this trio. OK. Wine gums. Yes. Dairy milk. Oh, yes. Caramel. Wow, Jack. And I only had, like, half a... That's three, that's three top. Yeah. That's this is top. all British candy. <laughs> yes. Those who are thinking we've got nuts. Really, really good. Uh, I only had half a bag of wine gums. I'm really proud of myself. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Mario, I can't imagine you're a big... Big sugar man, no? I always been. I oh. always been. And I'm gonna tell you, I had some ice cream yesterday, and my <laughs> favorite ice cream, I don't know if everybody's familiar with it, but I did the chocolate with the peanut butter. Oh my god, guys, I am scared to tell you, but it was delicious. Uh, <laughs> it was delicious. You know, you know that, that ice cream? I'll tell you that. Look, let me tell you something. You know when you take a bite? And then you say to yourself, let me stop, but you cannot stop. That feeling oh. I had. 
Oh, uh, Mario, I love I, it. I have an ice cream for you, Mario. Yeah. The, uh, oh. I remember, Jenny's uh, goat's milk and red cherry. Goat's milk? It's the, it's, it's the best Mario. There you go. Next time you're, next time you're here, okay. I'll, I'll bring you some. He'll send you some Jenny's goat okay. milk. Yeah. Okay. Goat's yeah. milk and, and red cherry. Uh, uh, Luis, we need your favorite candy, sweet, sugar. Uh, not much of uh, sugar, but I love uh, cheesecake. And that's my kind oh. of uh, dessert. Every single time that I have the chance, ah. I try to, to try cheesecake. Here in Madrid, there is a lot of places, and I like to go some different ones to, to, to try the different tastes. Yeah, what's your flavor, Luis? What's your go-to? Uh, I will go to salty caramel, salty caramel, yeah. I think it's called. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Salt caramel. That's oh, what she's called. Vanilla and salt caramel. You haven't, you haven't told us what candy you had. I was here. I didn't. I didn't have any candy. I watched I Stevie eat a massive me. bag of chips, standard. Yeah, yeah. And, and that was it. Just, you know, <laughs> I had to go home and start to prepare for today's show, which just shows the quality. Good lord. <laughs> of the yeah, you had me up until that last bit. I was believing you. Uh, we'll say thank you very much to Mario and Luis. Thanks to Shaka as well. We'll be back on your screens tomorrow. You look at the thank games, you. and we've of course got the semi-final. Klaus Kaiserslautern oh. against Saarbrücken. Oh, I love saying that. Oh, yeah. And also West Ham against Tottenham. Not quite. Well, well, well that's a big say. game, man. Hmm? I'll be watching that. Are you in tomorrow? Yeah. Going to go for a walk? No, no, no. Are you really in tomorrow? Yeah. And Wednesday. Are you? Yeah. 